Today, RV Insider has more about the visit from the Holocaust survivor. Find out about the latest fashion and sunglasses. And RV Insider talks to students who gave blood to save lives. All this is more on the Tuesday, December 7th edition of RV Insider. Hello and welcome to RV Insider. I'm Tara Lumpkin. And I'm Colin McDonald. Let's get to some of today's news. Our cafeteria trays are disappearing at an alarming and expensive rate. Please make sure to return all trays as soon as possible. Students are also reminded that trays are not to be thrown away in the trash. We have some breaking news. Peer Leaders will be sponsoring a used prom dress drive through January 16th. For more information, contact Mr. Corcoran and stay tuned to RV Insider in the upcoming weeks. Last week, the school was lucky enough to have a Holocaust survivor come in and speak to students about his experience. RV Insider reporter Taylor Lumpkin was on hand. When Cocos Valley's U.S. 2 history classes got an opportunity to hear a Holocaust survivor's story. The number 141631 is branded on David Tuck's forearm as an indelible reminder. He belongs to the dwindling group of Holocaust survivors. Tuck made it his mission to share his story by publicly speaking in front of organizations of all sizes. David Tuck visited RV to tell his incredible story about his life during the Holocaust. Graphic pictures were shown to give visual examples of how horrific the Holocaust was. After David Tuck finished his amazing story, RV Insider caught up with other students to ask how they felt hearing David Tuck's story. His story was really powerful and it meant a lot to everybody that came here and I just felt that he was really courageous for saying his life. Do you feel um, it is important to learn about the Holocaust? Yeah, it's something that happened a long time ago, but um, it was a huge genocide and it's important that people hear about it. Ms. Rosenthal was the main teacher who organized for Tuck to visit RV. Um, when I first met Mr. Tuck, um, he was at my phone school, and I thought that his story was so moving that, and I was in college at the time, so I figured I'd ask him, you know, if I ever needed him in the future, would he be a resource for me? He said, yeah, and we've been friends ever since. So. RV Insider got the chance to have an exclusive interview with David Tuck. When I was born, my mother died. I was brought up with my grandparents. First time I saw my father when I was eight years old, and I lived with a stepmother and three children. And I had a rough life. How are you, um, as a survivor, dealing with the deniers of today? I can do nothing about it. They want to deny it. They have plenty. The Germans have plenty archives. It's their archives. They kept every little bit. That's all for RV Insider. I'm Tara Lumpkin. RV's class of 2012 is selling Ray Cocos Valley Spirit Bracelets for $2 each. Please email Carolee Gray, cgray at rvrhs.com or Jen Kavlik, jkavlik at rvrhs.com to purchase your RV Spirit Bracelets. It's a cute addition to a holiday gift or a stocking stuffer. The junior class thanks you for your support. The RV dance team is selling cookbooks with 230 plus recipes in a three ring hardcover format. Pre-sale order forms are available in the main office. The cost is just $15 each or surprise someone for the holidays and buy two for $25. See April Wagner if you have any questions. Check out the sample in the main office. Last week, students donated blood to save lives. RV Insider reporter Brett Axler was at the blood drive with more. Hey, I'm here at the 2010 RV blood drive sponsored by NHS. We're expecting a pretty good turnout today, so let's take a closer look. This past Tuesday, dozens of RV students and teachers took time out of their busy schedules to donate blood. We spoke with Lynn Ross, the woman in charge of this year's blood drive. I work for New Jersey Blood Services. We are a blood collection organization. We collect blood to provide it to the hospitals so that patients in the hospitals will have the blood they need. Uh, the major users of blood are cancer patients, and since almost everybody knows someone who's been touched by cancer, you probably know somebody who's used blood. We spoke with Ms. Ausbach, the RV NHS advisor, to find out more about why NHS hosts this blood drive. 
It's been a tradition every year for NHS to sponsor a blood drive. Um, some years we do one, some years we do two. Um, and also the number of lives that can be saved by students here donating is also very um, important. This day could not have been possible without the help of all the NHS volunteers. We interviewed a few to find out more about why it is they volunteered to help this year and what their jobs are. Well, me and Daniel Adams, we are chairs of the blood drive. So pretty much we organize with um, the new... New Jersey Blood Drive Center and we put together um, this actual day. We plan the day out. We get donors. Uh, my job is just I'm an escort so I'm here to escort the people from the where they donate blood over to the canteen. Make sure they don't fall, faint, or have any problems. Well I'm volunteering because I can't donate blood myself so I figured I'd help out those who can. I just want to help out the people and I know this is a very important thing for the community. Many students had their own reasons for taking part in this year's blood drive. I wanted to, you know, save lives because a lot of people need blood and can't get it. Uh, this is not my first time giving blood. I gave blood last year, but it's my first time using the uh, Alix machine over there, which is they took all my blood and they basically put back, I guess, this plasma stuff they didn't need, which I didn't mind. They said it saves more lives, and that's basically why I'm here. I donate blood because I feel like I have an obligation to help the community because uh, I had a great example. Uh, my dad's been donating for years and I've just sort of been like oh well if he's doing this for these people why can't I? So as you can see it's a good idea to give blood. Please donate blood. Save a life. I'm Brett Axler for RVTV. The RV staff team is selling Kids Stuff coupon books again this year. Kids Stuff coupon books are $25 and contain a host of coupons for vendors and businesses. Throughout South Jersey including but not limited to Kohl's, ShopRite, Acme, Macy's, Barnes & Noble, and a variety of res restaurants. See any member of the Hollywood Step Team or advisors Mrs. Jackson or Mrs. Addison today to purchase your book. RV Varsity Club is sponsoring its annual code drive this December. New and generally used coats, all sizes, male or female. Also collecting new gloves, hats, blankets, scarves, thermal, socks, underwear. All donations will go to local shelters in Burlington County. Please drop off your donations in the boxes located in front of the main office or guidance office. Any questions, please call Ms. Armando at 267-0830. Looking for holiday gift ideas? How about a stylish pair of sunglasses? RV Insider reporter Chris Young takes a look at the popular sunglasses this season. With the holiday season fast approaching, we asked students what type of sunglasses they wanted to find in their stockings and why. The ones that I buy from Columbus. <laughs> Gotta say Ray-Ban. They fit my face, you know? They just, they just make me look good. Uh, Ray-Ban, because they're the most expensive and they're the freshest. Oakley's. And they're nice. I gotta go with Oakley's because they make me look fresh. For RVTV, I'm Chris Young, signing out. Please come and see the RV Choir perform on Thursday, December 9th at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are on sale now and also at the door. Come out and le have a fun night. Now let's take a look for the week's five-day forecast. Cold and windy with a high of 35. The sun will come out later in the week, but it will remain cold with highs in the mid-30s. Friday and Saturdays will be a little better with highs in the mid-40s. So get out your winter coats because winter has finally arrived. That's all for RV Insider. I'm Tara Lumpkin. And I'm Colin McDonald. Have a great day.